Hey, what's happening guys? It's JT Judgment here and welcome back to the channel today for another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Player Review, or should say Legend Review, guys. We have the 89 rated left forward Pavel Nedved. But before I get into it, guys, if you are looking to pick up some PSN codes or some Xbox codes or some PC games, I definitely recommend checking out cdkeys.com. I will leave a link to those guys in the description down below. Also, I've got to give a massive shout out and say a massive thank you to the boy that was nice enough to let me use his account to do this review. All links as always always will be in the description down below if you head on over to his account said a massive thank you guys that'd be awesome i'd really 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 appreciate it so guys what sort of stats are you getting with a player like pavel nedved in fifa 17 ultimate team you look at his card face stats guys 83 pace as well as 83 shooting 85 dribbling uh, 85 passing sorry 87 dribbling uh, 46 on the defending and 80 on the physical you look at his in-game stats 87 aggression 85 attack positioning as well as 85 vision 86 reactions 91 on the long shots a stat that i love to see 87 shot power 88 on the dribbling as well as 88 on the ball control so very 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 good stats i've got to say guys there is a sea of green most of his stats guys are in the low to mid 80s which is what you want to see uh, in a legend especially one that is 89 rated that is for damn sure so guys what did i think of nedved in fifa 17 ultimate team well i've got to go back to you know throughout the years in fifa ultimate team and say that Nedved has never really been that great of a player for me in Ultimate Team you know he's never really met my standards uh, of legends in the in the you know obviously past FIFA's he just seemed to be a bit of a disappointment in game you know but I gotta say this year thankfully Nedved is actually a fantastic legend in this game in my opinion now I know a lot of you guys have disagreed with my legend reviews in the past especially Nedved I can recall a lot of people saying that for you, Nedved has been an absolutely fantastic player, but for me, he's never really been that great, you know? And finally, I can say Nedved is a very, very good legend, you know? <laughs> finally, I can say I've enjoyed using Nedved in FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. To go through what I didn't like and what I liked about the player, the weaknesses I'll go through first, just to go through them quickly, guys. His weak foot for me was probably the biggest surprise, seeing as he's got a five-star weak foot for me. It was just really bad, you know? He kept hitting the ball over the crossbar. I don't know what it is with Nedved but every time I shot with this card regardless of whether he would use his left foot or his right foot he always hit the ball very very high in the air and the difference between using his right foot and his left foot with his right foot it always hit the back of the net whereas using his weak foot even though he's got a five star weak foot he always hit it a mile over the crossbar you know so that's probably the biggest surprise uh, that I did find with this card so it's definitely something to keep in mind when using or buying the card for yourself you know the other things I didn't like guys is that his strength for me wasn't the greatest and his aerial ability for me wasn't the greatest as well he isn't the strongest of players guys regardless of his stats on the card and in game he was the sort of player that for me personally anyway didn't really take that much to muscle him off the ball and aerial ability is something to keep in mind as well if you want to buy Nedved maybe if you want to use him as a striker for your team then aerial ability that box is definitely not ticked uh, with this card he did manage to score one one goal for me but it was the sort of you know it's basically a fluke goal uh, it's nothing that you would expect anyone to score it's just something that happened in a certain moment of the game that you really didn't expect you know I'll show you guys uh, in this video he came in from a corner the ball took a small deflection I think it is guys off one of the defenders in the box um, Pavel Nedved was there to capitalize on that deflection and I think he just backwards headed it into the back of the net which was a kind of funny goal to score uh, at the time but but other than that guys his aerial ability for me was pretty dreadful everything else with this card guys was pretty fantastic now his pace was a big surprise for me I did use him in the hunter chemistry style which obviously does boost his pace a little bit so the hunter chemistry style puts him up from 83 pace and 83 shooting to 95 pace and 92 shooting and I gotta say I felt that pace increase in game I don't know why he felt so freaking quick because you know I've used chemistry styles in the past obviously and a lot of times they don't really seem to make that much of a difference but with Nedved I don't know what it is he, he just felt so much freaking quicker you know he was this it just made it much more easier uh, to run through teams and bottom line guys I just didn't have a problem with his pace and it's coming from a pace whore you know that plays this game so that's something that I really really did like dribbling for me was fantastic as well guys he is yet another one of those players that just keeps the ball so close to his feet guys you move the left trigger to change direction he just changes direction really really 
quickly. Dribbling is not my most favourite thing about the gameplay in FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. In fact, it's probably one of the worst things about the gameplay. It just seems so slow and sluggish all the time. But when I used Nedved, guys, it did make me enjoy using it. He did make me enjoy playing the game simply because his dribbling was fantastic, you know? So it's something that really did make me enjoy using this card. That is for damn sure. His right foot for me was phenomenal, guys. You get this boy in the correct position to score from a distance outside the box. He will not disappoint you. His finesse shots from outside the box was fantastic as well. And not to mention, obviously, his finishing inside the box. No problems from me. That box is definitely ticked with this card. His passing for me was nice as well. Now, when you look at his card from an 85 passing stat, you expect to see something in game. And that's exactly what I felt. You know, he was setting up opportunities for my other players in the team consistently. So I got to say, passing with this card was definitely not a problem. And lastly, guys, the only other thing that I got to mention is that his positioning for me was fantastic as well. Now, he's got high attacking work rate and medium defensive work rate. He's also got that 85 attack positioning stat. I got to say, guys, when I used him in the team as a left forward, I don't know what it was, but his positioning was a little bit off for me, guys. So what I did is that I switched him to a striker in game and everything changed guys everything completely changed with this card he went from being an average player to being in the position that I needed him to be in at some times but when I used him as a striker he was always there guys he was always making runs he was always in the right place at the right time so basically guys bottom line what I thought of the card he was fantastic I think he is definitely worth the coins the really the only things that you need to worry about in my opinion is, the, is that his weak foot for me anyway wasn't the greatest his aerial ability isn't reliable as well as his strength other than that the card is pretty much fantastic you know when it comes to left wing legends the only other one that I have used as of this moment in time is Ryan Giggs and I've got to say Nedved is so much better than Giggs if I had to compare them both I would say Nedved is the better by far but that right there guys is going to wrap up this review on Nedved and FIFA 17 Ultimate Team if you did enjoy as always guys a like is greatly appreciated don't forget to subscribe today as well if you guys enjoy the content and you want to see more fairly soon and as always guys most importantly please take care and I will see you all next time ta-da guys